Hello? Hello everyone! Welcome to Smash Out 91. We got Kata versus Concuss. My boy Kata from Long Island versus uh, regular Puff player here, Concuss. Kata up 1 0 though, so let's go. Let's go, Kata. Hey, right, well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hey, well, that was a trade. I don't know. It's not. It's not the worst trade for uh, for either of them, actually. Hmm. That was a good, good call it on the the empty hop. He didn't get grabbed out of it. Oh, that could be a kill. I don't know. I don't know my percent this matchup. I'm not, I'm not a box nerd. Hmm. I always wonder about the shine. I guess it's worth it because they have to use all their jumps to get back. So actually, it's super worth it. But unfortunately, Kaden missed the edge guard. Plus, just gonna slowly come back. That grab was. He could have snatched out of shield and started grabs, which would have been better. Ooh, nice. Red is off ledge options. I one sock down. Oh, I thought he got shield grab, but he was invincible. Uh, I mean, it's still, like, super doable for Kata. He just not get. He just has to not have horrible di on on throws or on like something like a pound or up air. Oh, no, he teched it. That's good. I'm surprised because he keeps going for the F smash instead of like jab reset on the, the pounds. Oh my god, that percent was wild. Hey, well, never mind. He gets arrested. Hey, one one. Probably gonna go to FD slash Pokemon, assuming Yoshi's is banned, unless they went to one of those two stages to start with. Which I'd be surprised, but I don't know. Some some puff players are wild. Oh, oh yeah, Pokemon Stadium. Uh You know what, the only annoying thing about the stage despite being broken for Fox in the matchup is that uh, up throw rest underneath the platforms is guaranteed because you don't have time to reach the platforms to tech. Oh, let me turn that off. Alright. So that's like the only scary thing. But other than that, Fox can just hide underneath these platforms and do whatever he wants. Concuss has so many rest opportunities. Just like kind of not going for them. I'm assuming that was an accidental throw. That forward throw, I mean. Because you can still combo off up throw. And I'm pretty sure rest might still work. <laughs> no, no comment on that. <laughs> oh, no. 
Uh, he just missed the rest and then Kidda missed the punish at first, but then he got it anyway. That would have been a huge dealio though. Because making the. Actually, it would have just been a trade if unless Kata died it poorly. But the f two, two socks of four is rough against Puff on any stage. Kata's going. Oh my god! Good thing he tech that. It might have been a little weird to rest, but he probably could have. Uh, I guess could have done a sail. Nice. No smash the eye, but. Bad DI in the rest, so he can't punish. Just running around each other. Kato kind of trying to make space so he can laser. Just so he uh, can get him into like, just a high bit of percent. Probably so he doesn't get crowd by anything, I guess. Oh! Hey, it didn't kill, but that was a cool combo. Cool little combo. Oh my god, that was that was. I think restable, but he could also just back aired if he didn't want to trade. That was a really crisp wave that shot a shield, but I don't know with that. Oh my god, Kato, that sucks. But with such a wave that shot a shield, he probably could have just rested or done an aerial. Hey, so it's last stock between these. Fox Puff, for some reason, Concuss was getting waiting for the transformation, I guess. Hello. Hello. What's up, baby bird? Not much, you? Okay, I, I lost the game to uh, sh to Shitter, but it's all right. I, I took the set. I was, well, I don't know, I was playing a little bit off. That's okay. Yeah, that's There's okay. always next set. Yeah, yeah, and I'm still in winners. That's the important part. <laughs> it's it's a warm-up round. Um, so it's... Well, this is a really close game. It is extremely close. Yeah, I don't know how um, this transformation is going to benefit. Oh Puff, my oh god, Kata, what are you doing? Whoa! He's doing some really silly stuff. Uh oh. I just hope he doesn't. He's been like undershooting his nares, but to the point where they miss shield. That's it. Nice. All right, cool. That was a really close set, though. That was very close. Concuz did miss a rest this game, so maybe he might not be very happy about that, but. I don't know, other than that, it was a pretty good set overall. Yeah, I mi I'm fortunate I missed it. I was playing, but yeah. I, I believe you. I mean, it was a it was a very close last game, last stock. So and that's the stuff we love to see here. Unfortunately, Concuss just couldn't pull that out. That's ne all right, though. Next, Just Jason is here at Smash Out for some reason. Really? He, yeah, he doesn't really come often from what I've heard. Like, I've never seen him here, but... I've seen him here a few times. I mean, he's here. He's playing Apollo round two. I think he's the second seed. So, mm. we'll see I don't how know. it does. I haven't played Just Jason in a while. Um, it's a really good cheek, though. I know he took a set off of Cyrox a while ago. A while ago. ago, yeah. But he was playing more back then. He hasn't been, I know. Well, I mean, he might have been playing, like, like uh, just around in the city because now there's no tournaments he might be playing. But he hasn't entered He hasn't entered tournaments nearly as much as he used to. Yeah. But back then, he was going to, like, two, two three tournaments a week when he beat Cyrox. That was a while ago. Mm. Maybe he's just busy with some stuff. It, it happens. Yeah. I know I haven't been going to as much due to the fact that, well, I, I just don't have the energy to go to Wallingford anymore. Yeah. It's just too far. It's an hour and a half away. I, I honestly don't care for the toxicity there. I'm just going to be Wait, straight. where? In Wallingford. Where's that? Uh, Connecticut. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I'll go back there, like, maybe for a monthly or so. Mm -hmm. But um, it's not worth like weekly travel. It, nah, it, it's an hour and a half. Besides, I have I play Smash Ultimate now as well. Mm -hmm. So and I have here. So I rather go someplace that's like a, only about a half hour from where I live than an hour than the place that's an hour and thirty minutes with I mean, traffic. That makes sense. It does. It does. <laughs> it sucks because I want to play more melee in addition to Ultimate. But um, right now Ultimate is getting a little bit more attention, and it's not really necessarily my fault. It's just the it's just the circumstances. And that's life. Yeah. Eh. Okay. I'm excited to see how this goes because Apollo. I don't know. He also like comes fairly rarely. But he's been. I think he's been here like the last two weeks or so. What? Oh, uh, the last set. Uh, Kata. Kata. Oh, oh, that was that was a handle. All right. So we got game one on battlefield. Um, 
Falca, Falcon versus Sheik. This is notoriously known as a bad matchup for Falcon. Um, ooh, almost clips him, almost gives him with a needle right there. He's already at 100%. This is what Sheik does to Falcon and against fast fallers in general. Unfortunately, unlike Spacey's, Falcon does not really have that many fast attacks out of shield like Shine and stuff. But not definitely not unwinnable. It has been done. I want to. I wonder if Apollo's gonna keep going to ledge like that and just trying to end it early. Because uh, the last, like both the first stock and that stock, he was teching to the ledge each time just to get it to end early. The, the tech chase. We'll see. It's a bit of a dangerous situation because she can easily gimp Falcon at the edge. But um, let's see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, he's off stage right now. Back air. That's gonna be. It. Ooh, gets the reverse hit. That should be it there. That's game. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Once Falcon's off stage gets hit by Sheik, it's kind of that, it's a little rough. It's pretty much over. But then again, it's the same with any character. If you get hit by Sheik off stage, you're pretty much yeah. dead. Apollo keeps getting grabbed at like zero, which each time is leading to like these zero death combos. Yeah, these are just Jason running a train over uh, Apollo right now. This is, could be a potentially a three stock. He just gets one. All he needs is just like one grab or one hit, and then. And then look, here comes a here's it comes another combo. Well, here comes a com here comes a combo. Oh, never mind. Just Jason interrupts it. And these forward tilts are just stuffing out Apollo. Yeah, Apollo's dash dancing too close. Like uh, no, it's weird. It, he if he's dash dancing inside the F-Tilt range, it's like, we're just way too close. Yeah, he would, he did a really nice dash dance there to fool him, but um, he still got uh, a one stock the deficit to make up for. He went to, he stomped the ledge, when, he probably just should have just grabbed the ledge. Because uh, just Jason couldn't have made it to the ledge quick enough for a stop with hit. Yeah, and this, this is looking like a wrap almost. Yeah, this is extremely difficult to come back from. Oh, well, if he made it back, no, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to make it back. That's it. I don't think he had a jump. Okay, Just Jason takes game one. I'm assuming he's probably going to ban FD or some other flat stage. Uh, well, FD is the only flat stage other than Pokemon. I mean, they're probably going to go to Pokemon, so... Well, actually, I don't know. I don't know where they're going to go. Definitely not a tripod I would go. Oh, never mind. Because well, the thing is, I'm assuming Jason might have banned Pokemon because... He was doing so well with the tech chases in general that uh, he might have been okay with FD just because like it is Falcon. He just has to get one grab. It's a rough, it's a rough stage kind of, but yeah, it it really depends because I can see Sheik being doing very well on FD against this character now. If you say it. Uh, that being said, like in certain matchups, FD is Sheik's worst stage. Ooh, very nice combo from uh, Apollo right there. We got this tricky movement going on right now to slide all over the platforms like that. He needs that in order to uh, get out of Sheik's combos. All right, this is looking like a wrap. All right, dead even game. That was a nice dash dance around the up air. Yes, here comes a tech chase situation. Very nice. I don't know, so Apollo's like, I don't know. He's not getting up attacking at all, which well, is... I think. Oh, what were you going to say? I was thinking that uh, he was afraid that uh, Just Jason was going to do the jab reset. Well, the thing is, he's missing a bunch of techs anyway, and Just Jason isn't going for the jab reset. So he might as well try and do the get up attack, because that's what makes Sheik's afraid to tech chase not spaces. Is like the threat of get up attack and getting clipped by it. Nice. Yeah, that is a good. Um... That is a good point right there, so that co probably could be why. But, I'll uh, still grab again. Right. There he oh, goes for the get up attack. He goes for it, but... But Just Jason was ready for it, because as, as good as a mix-up as it is, it is, is just as easily punishable if you know that it's coming. And it just so happened that Just Jason just perfect shielded it. Yeah, even though, like, you have to do it sometimes just to make them scared of it, but... It's, again, not the best option in the world. Yeah, the best you can do in that situation is just mix up your options. It's all you can do. And they're against really good play, really good cheek players. There's really nothing you can do because they have the, they have her uh, tech chase game down to a science. Ooh, that looks... I think he hit the needle right there. Yeah, he did. I was, I was about to say, I've never seen that hit twice in a row. Because you can hit the needles out of Sheik's hand, so then you hit the needles as their fall. Yeah, it's really weird that you could hit the needles in this game, because I think it steals your moves, too. And... Oh, oh, that sucks. I was about to say he should have stood on ledge a little bit longer. Alright. Alright, this is still doable. Yeah, because the thing is, even if you went on stage, 
she's in so much lag that you can just react to it and punish anyway. Where yeah. like, I don't know, there's no point in going onto the stage preemptively there as Falcon. Yeah, he should have just um, just stood on, and if she went on stage, like he could have just got a need from the ledge. Ooh, he had something going right there. Nice. Oh. Very nice knee. Oh, that oh sucks. no! He missed, and then she had no lag, so couldn't really do anything. That's troublesome. All right. He missed the second hit of his, uh, his nair, but it might not matter. Nice. Ah, oh, very nice. Japalo brings it back. We have a yeah, high good. game. I uh, like that. I would say probably going Yoshi's or FOD. I agree. It's it doesn't give Sheik a lot of room to um, camp out. Uh, yeah, and we're going to Yoshi's. The thing is, you want to give Falcon as little room as possible to move around, because with less room to move around, he's not really scary. Yeah, because you can just keep him in a corner. And especially now, like, uh, the tech chases, if he keeps teching to the ledge, he's, uh, gonna be off stage earlier so he can get the easy, easy gimps. Oh, yeah. So, that being said, Sheik also dies earlier on this stage because of the smaller blast zones, and... Falcon has some very explosive hitboxes too, but that then again, I think in movement wise, Sheik is in favor in this stage. Oh yeah, definitely. Well, Randall coming in clutch right there. Ooh, no punish for the da for the dash grab. That was weird. He he dropped shield, uh, gentleman. Well, he, he could just grab. Yeah, he did miss the gentleman right there. Oh, that oh sucks. the ramen noodles. Yeah, that does suck. So now Apollo's gotta gotta play from behind even more. Good back air, good DI though. He's gonna live. Uh, He's dead. Never mind. Do not have a jump. Oh boy, here comes a tech chase. And the thing is, he's also like, I don't know. A lot of times when he's not teching is when he lands on top of Sheik. So it's like he just lands on top of Sheik, doesn't tech, and gets up tilted, grabbed again. That's happened a couple times. Yeah, because when you see the, the missed tech, you can just easily react to it. Because it's a good long while before you can actually get do the get up attack. That down smash was probably a down air, I would think. Yeah, I think that was probably a missed input right there. I mean, the stocks are even. Oh, but boy. Ooh. He's making this. He's actually, like, super hard making a comeback. Yeah. I actually wanted oh to win this. Oh, my gosh. Try not to be biased, but... Um, I do want to see Apollo nice. win this because I think that this is definitely in Sheik's favor. All right, he has the stock lead, and now just Jason's on his last stock. This is still anyone's game, though. Up air will take it. All right, we have a dead even game three. Last stock. Oh, that's a knock it grabbed. Oh, there uh, it goes. Commentator's curse. Oh, that was that was very really good. Yeah, that was very smart. Does not go for the gentleman right there. But he went for, he went for the roll read, which it would have been good if it hit, but again, it's just a read, so. C can't work every time. All right, let's see. Uh oh, this is trouble. Oh Good my. nair. He's got a lot of nairs off ledge, or just like in that situ situation in general. Yeah, I know he's been do using nair a lot in this set uh, to space out, and he's been doing. It's been working wonders for him. Oh, that that's sucks. troublesome. He got and a tournament that winner. Could be it. Oh, that's yeah. it. That is it. Very close game, but just Jason just takes it two one. Good stuff to Apollo, though, almost bringing it back. Hey, it's us. Oh, we got to play. Hey. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys on the other side. Goodbye.
No contest. Survival.
Hey, cool. Hello. Welcome back. Fisher versus Scrub. DK Falco. Maybe one of the worst matchups in the world. Or Falco Peach. A horrible matchup. So I feel like Fish it, unless he's just better player, Scrub is in for a rough time. So how's everyone doing before this game gets started? I wonder if they're gonna... I oh, know they're not hand-warming. I think. Oh, yeah, they are. People who hand-warm are queens. I'm surprised he's not going DK. So he, I see him go DK versus most of the spaces here. Yo. Yeah, I wouldn't have to. I don't. I mean, I did it last set kind of, but that's also Ice Climbers. I didn't even, I didn't even hit him one versus Ice Climbers. I'm dedicated. <laughs> yeah, they're about to start. Does Sukan not like to desync? Uh, I don't know. Dude, I know nothing about Ice Climbers. You're just the wrong person. Hey, game one, FOD. Good stage for Falco. Uh, he only really desynced when I was on side plat or just lasering and he was doing like uh, Blizzard and Ice Block desyncs. Hey. First stock quickly taken by Fisher. Oh no, he caught the turnip. Catching the turnips are almost it's almost always a bad idea. It's cause then you just can't do aerials. And it's like, well, I just have to get rid of it as fast as possible. You're not gonna hit lasers at that height. Unless you really wanna hit them and double jump. Catch turnip is not badass. It's only cool if it's a stitch. But even then, you have Shine, which makes them stronger. So just Shine them. That side B was very telegraphed, and Fisher was ready for it. How would I know what badass is? Because I'm a good player who <laughs> wins locals. <laughs> if he charged that down smash, it would have been sick. But he didn't charge it, so he climbed. Sheik with turnips is. Sh shut up. 
It's literally not. Oh, that up smash was actually so sick. Because it it's invincible, the, the hands and head, so. It just meant he had a hard read on what Scrub was going to do. Nice. Over 100. She, Peach can't really do anything there. I mean, you won your last the last set, but I was also playing like garbage. Even Rick said so. Hey, that should be death. Yeah, back air and grab ledge. That right, game one goes to fish it. Best of three still. Are those lumble emotes? Everyone plays a brain dead character but me. And like Sam's players, I guess. Hey Yoshi's I what the frick did Fish it ban? What the heck? Maybe he banned Pokemon, but Oh well <laughs> Oh no. Scrub's the Scrub probably jumped into one of the the two uh two jabs. You have to be brain dead to play Samus. That's a lot. Samus is really difficult. The only people who don't think Samus is hard are Fox players because they cry about getting down smashed. <laughs> I, <laughs> you're correct. Choosing to play Samus is the brain dead part. Oh my gosh. Scrub just coming down with crouch cancel aerials, which against Peach is just a big no no. Is that my boy Barry? No. I mean, he's in the vicinity, but he's not talking. Oh, um, I think he just second guessed himself because he could have got another arrow there or just wave land, or wave land something. Should have shined. Because again, that up air, the eye. And shine would have just been an instant kill. No, it's weird. Scrub is like really risky in certain ways, and in some ways he just like refuses to do stuff. And like right there, the jab, jab, walk up, up tilt, or I don't know. You can just do like jab nair, jab bear, and it's easier. Sounds like another green falco I know. I mean that's fair. <laughs> You're not necessarily wrong about that. But things I play, I think I, the way I play is safe enough. I don't know. I don't know how to say that without sounding like a wiener. Oh no! See, he could have ah, he could have downered that. And even if a uh, fish had like smash eyed in and went out of stage, that would have been death anyway. Like all you do is follow up and peach tech roll isn't the greatest. Oh. Yeah, no, jabbing Peach on the ground is a big no-no. Even in the air, until like Hyper Sense is a big no-no. So you just got Crouch Cancelled into literal death. That was a sick combo. But yeah, he got, he did jab, jab, down smash into die. Just yet. Oh, that's me again. I <sighs> eh, better not lose.
く
Base slash Gibson Swift slash Peacecraft versus Fish It. The other side of Winter Semis.
not sure how long Swift has been playing on the box. I think it's been like at least a year and a half. I think he had a secret limited edition early access build of the box, so. Ready? Pulling up the stream. Oh, he's going DK? Oh my god. <laughs> so I have a his well I don't me personally I don't have a history, but a lot of people I know. All Mars players say DK is a very good character, and is a, this is a difficult matchup for Mars. So I'd love to see Fishit win for selfish reasons. However, if Fishit loses, I can tell them that they're morons. So I don't know. It's a win-win. I will be honest though, I know nothing about DK, <laughs> and specifically the DK Mars matchup. But I'm pretty sure it's just like, you know, people, Mars complain about Crouch Cancel, because you get Crouch Cancel grabbed and the combos are really dip. Combos are pretty like, insane for DK. Oh. You stopped that approach with a freaking, oh my gosh. Is that going to kill? <laughs> like, well, that I mean, DK's up out of shield is really strong, so it makes sense. But I'm surprised it killed in that direction. Anyway, well, yeah, not much DK can really do there. He's just gonna get edge guarded. If Fisher's just looking for, oh, those down tilts are not safe at all. But yeah, Fisher's basically just looking for a grab and up throwing, and then not letting Marth come down because Marth has a hard time coming down in general. Oh my gosh, I thought he was gonna grab instead of down tilt. Hey, so he just went, oh, that was a, I mean, it was fine, because he uses them in neutral mainly, or like a lot. Oh my god, he's just roll, rolling, and he did roll, roll, up tilt. Like the worst move Donkey Kong has, and it worked. Yo, what up, Jake? You excited for some DK Marth? Our boys are getting VODs over here. Another up E out of shield kill. Jeez Louise. I guess Mars just can't really be behind DK. I didn't expect it to like, uh, be as effective though, because he doesn't really do cross the burials, but I guess he does do like run through sometimes. And just coming from behind will be rough because he's going to be trying to grab. Hey, he should just die, yeah. How's the RuneScape grinding though, Jake? I mean, that getup attack is super broken. Like, his Bowser... Just, oh, that should be death. Yeah. It's... I don't know. You see that and it's like, oh, how... That's not... That doesn't really seem too, too difficult. But I guess only did has only happened once. Oh, he's tech chasing. Jesus Christ. We have DK. I wonder if Fish is going to stay DK though? Oh, boy. Hey, Jake. Can you do me a favor? Do you have any Gibson Swift tips? <laughs> On the case that he wins, I want to I wanna be prepared for the worst. Short hop fair off the side platform. Oh, uh, Jake, it's cool. You don't need to respond or anything. Down B? What the frick? Oh my god. That sucks. I wonder if he was trying to just do like turn around, but didn't turn around time. These down Bs from the ledge are crazy. I guess if Marth tries the ledge dash, down B will beat it every time. Makes sense. Hey, what up, tribe? Hey, despite that SD, it's very even. Hey, 
We have some great Sheik Falco gameplay. Both sides were doing super sick stuff. I'm surprised he didn't get him attack just because of what he can get off it. Oh no, he missed, I think. Because it didn't really seem like Swift did anything there. Oh nice, that's death. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went for a down smash. This can be huge. Oh, <laughs> that was like 20%. He just has to, I don't know, fish it. Just needs to get this donkey punch off before he dies, just so. Like, if, if he gets it to hit. Yep, there it is, that's death. Hey, he has another one. This one you can just throw out a neutral, and if it hits, it's like 30%. That's some hecka extra credit, as people say. I think it's a stall. And then, yeah. Swift Page just did a laggy option that, if you guess wrong with it, Kind of just reset to neutral. Oh my gosh! Three stock after the SD. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Wait, where is he going? I feel like so. The matchup is probably better. Oh, wait, well, let's see. I feel like it's easier to do silly stuff to Falcon and get away with it, but I don't know. Swift so seems to know what he's doing. <laughs> yep, okay. Yeah, and he's just gonna play the ledge, get it, go for like super cheese. Why are you messed up? Up air, nice. See, this is why I was scared of the, the Falcon counter pick. You just get there's so much more cheats involved. Where I don't know, like the Marth, you're gonna get cheese because like you're gonna get crouch cancelled or whatever. But you can't get back throw gimped. And the up air jugglers aren't as strong, so I don't know. But if he does, if he just does neon shield run away, then I can see the I can see the reasoning behind it. Yeah, they're both trying to just play hell safe, not get grabbed. Whoever so gets grabbed first kind of just dies. Oh no! I understand the struggle there. He's definitely trying to down tilt or jab on wake up, but slid off. Didn't recognize that he was saying to slide off. And aerial then fell to his death. Especially for DK, such a heavy character and fast faller ish. He's not coming back from that. Oh my gosh. He just got up here, up here, and knee back and forth across the stage three times and died. Yeah. I'm back to even. Fisher just needs like one up throw. Oh, well, I was going to say, probably should have saved that for, like, oh my gosh, 30 freaking percent. I think you should have saved that for a combo, Ender, because up throw, punch, at like, low percent. Or... Oh. Hey, well, so here's where it comes. Because now that there's counter pick involved, or, like, counter character counter picks involved, it's like Fisher can go Marth, uh, can go FD. He won't want to say Falcon, so he might go Marth. And it's still probably a good counter pick. Because no plats. 
tempo. I, I don't know. I'm surprised he like switched off of Marth after one loss though. Oh no, freak! Oh freak! I turn this stream video on. Really? FD? Town? What the frick? I'm so confused. I don't know. This stage. Oh! oh! I wonder if he realized, or if he just like didn't recognize it until too late. I'm surprised he switched. Cause like that matchup is trash, but every matchup DK has is trash. So you think Fish would probably be used to it, but whatever. Oh well. I'll take it. Oh yeah. Oh, he just caught something. The camera was in my view, so I got like an item. Oh my god. No! Or did I, wait, did he grab in between the first and second jab? I guess that's true. That makes sense. If uh, Cliff came off the ledge with Nair, there's an SDI down, or a SDI down, punish. Oh no. Do I hope? If Swift Base wins, I really hope he doesn't go fast. <laughs> Suck. Oh. Oh. That was a. I wonder if the up smash was a read on the roll or a short hop or something. Or if he was on purpose. Oh, I would have. If I was fish it, I probably would have traded the stock there and went for like a back air. I don't even know if it would have been traded because I still think he had a jump. Well. I think there you just gotta like spot dodge. It's like a 50 50. So, what else are you gonna do off the ledge? Oh boy. Oh! Oh, getting hit off of invincibility. Oh, Dur accidental Duraki probably. I think it's a Duraki on this stage too. I could be wrong. Hey, well, Fisher missed the edge guard, but Swift made it easy for him, unfortunately. Oh! So, the thing is. So, say Fisher wins this game. They go FD. Or I guess Yoshi's. That could be it too. And it's like, if he stays Peach, Swift can go. Oh. Last act. Swift can go Marth. And if he goes DK, he can say Falcon. So it's like, this is a really rough position, even if Fisha does win this game. Oh no. I, I, th I thought he was just gonna get, like, me need. Oh no. He's so lucky. Uh, Swift missed his jump. Nice. No, what are you doing? There? Or not. Just grab ledge. Nice. Hey, last game. Again. I feel like it's either FD or Yoshi's. And Swift is going to go into the game five with a character, counter, like character advantage. Because he gets to choose whoever he wants. Uh, who's, he, who's he choosing? Who's he choosing? Donkey. Donkey. He's staying Falcon. Is it Yoshi's? Oh, it's Pokemon. What? I'm very. I don't know. I'm surprised. I would have thought he would. Maybe he's just like didn't want to have to deal with Marth Peach. Um. So he was okay with this matchup instead. I'm, I am surprised with the. Uh, the Pokemon and not Yoshi's. But I guess he wants to run around, obviously. So never mind, that makes sense. Oh, okay. Down tilt? Nice. He jumped over the down tilt. Wow. That was hella strong. I want he must have. That was an accident. I was gonna say, uh, Swift Base must have like stopped crouching or something, because that get of protection would not have sent him that far from crouch cancel. Unless DK's get up tag is weird. 
Uh, rock transformation. No clue who would win this or who does well on this one. Maybe DK because there's less space and he can do like a, some ladder combos. Oh, he does not want to get stuck in there, I think. Actually, I don't know. What is Falcon going to do, really? Gonna, like, stomp a couple times. Maybe he got, like, a gentleman. They're just going to wait it out, I guess. Ooh. Swift with the secret tech. I love side being to the right there. Or doing, like, some Naruto run stuff. Just can't fall off. Oh, the platform. Oh, <laughs> that was so cool, actually. But he jumped off instead of, like, get up attacked or something? Back there, yeah. Hey, I see what he was going for. Unless that was an accident. But if it wasn't an accident, that was... It seemed like, like, the one... It seemed like the farthest away where it wouldn't have worked. Upper? Oh, he didn't fast fall. Oh, it doesn't matter. This is, like... That was 60. Nice. Hey, three stocks to one. Official kill him. It's like he's gonna beat Swift Base. Unless Swift Base just zero to death him at least once here. Fisher SD, something like that. Yeah, it's, it's pretty hard to contest that if you don't have any uh, disjoint. Oh, that sucks. Again, he went for a knee, got stuck on the platform. Oh, he upbeat. Like out of the like out of hits on, just to try and trade or something, or maybe beat the knee before it came out, which worked out for him, which is good. That's death, yeah. I wonder why. I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say why did I in, but that could have been right. Yeah, okay, this is where it gets scary though, because Fisher just has to make sure he doesn't like choke, which is just like the the reality. So it's a harsh word, but. Nice. I think that's dead. He's gonna walk forward. Oh, he mashed out. That's also like 20% or something to DK. Oh, he has a box. That's right. Oh, shit. Nice. Good job, Fish It. But he has a box, so mashing out's pretty, pretty broken. Hey, so Fish It beats Peacecraft. 32. Next up is Loser's Quarters, Just Jason vs. Scrub. Oh, they played in Winners, too. Oh, oh, that's right. Okay. I was going to say why they played in Losers, but he got upset, technically. What up, Kev? Hey, so Scrub, Judge Jason in winners. It was not very, very clean, but, you know, maybe the first, maybe first time you're not playing too hot. Battlefield game one. Bad? Oh, it's hand warmers. But in their first set, Scrub got like grabbed the ledge a lot. So I hope that doesn't happen again. <laughs> that's like a in the matchup. That's kind of like step number one. If you're getting grabbed by ledge, it's like impossible to win. If that goes even like slightly on point. Hopefully don't go battlefield. No That's a 
It's not a trash stage, but it's not the stage you want to go to. At least it's Falco. Oh, he said Battlefield. Oh, no. Jesus Christ. Like, it's not, it's not horrible, but it's just... It's really good for Sheik, and Sheik's like it a lot, so... Nice crouch cancels. But nice grab. I want to see what he does. I think he had time to shine there. That seems kind of late. Banner's a really hard move to the eye, in my opinion. So, I don't know, he got hit by two dares. Kind of just went straight up on both of them. Nice. That was a good grab. Oh my gosh. I wonder if he was going for running shine, or if he was... What are you... Stop it. He did it, he did it twice in a row, first off, which is terrible. So even doing it once is... Not good, especially with Sheik, because she can kind of just react from halfway across the stage with dash attack and die. So, he went for the full hop dare thing again. I don't know, I don't think that would have even covered tech in place that back here. I just chased him, missed the boost grab. He's gonna die for it? Nah, he's not. Just Jason's really good at ops teching. Or at least he, he ops teched every time. Yo, what up, a ROM? I love your, your Twitter rebranding. Uh, Just Jason got caught in a shield, so, but he, and he went for the grab anyway, but, I don't know, probably just shouldn't have gone for that grab after he got caught in a shield. Nice DI on the dare. And he, he, he's going for up tilt a lot, like he's going for up tilt and F tilt a lot, but, I don't know, I don't really think there's a reason to go for both of them, because they, they're both the same DI. Hey, thanks. I have to play Fish It. Fish It beat, uh... Fish It beat Swift Base in Winter Semis Game 5. That gr I can't believe that grab hit. That was crazy. Yep. It, I mean, this is really hard to come back from. Can I just have to be very low committal, I think? And just, oh well. I guess, I guess that can happen too. But once you're down, like, once you're like mid percent where you can't crash cancel anymore, you just have to be super, super safe, not commit to anything. Because once you get clipped, you're going to take, uh, just chase him. Because once you get clipped, you're just, you're going to take 30% and get knocked off stage. Unless they mess up. It's weird, he's doing like these way that backs on reaction to a uh, uh, Falco di behind from down throw. And that's not a thing you see often. And I wonder if it's as true as just turn around. I don't know though. Damn, wave dash up, down smash. That was very quick. That was sick. I would never have done that in a million years. Oh, that needle was a very good snipe. He covered uh, Sweet Spot perfectly. I think. I'm pretty sure needle covers Sweet Spot. So I could be, I could be lying. But if it does, he covered it perfectly. I 
That's why he didn't just F-Tilt. I think F-Tilt would cover the same option as Down Smash. And he's not dealing the F-Tilt's way in recovery, so... Nice. I like that up tilt. Um, I would have hit him off stage, but damn, that bear covered that just right. Nice. I was lucky, but I mean, it happens sometimes. Edge Guard Falcon's a, a rough one. Oh! Oh, that sucks. If he was able to convert off that, he had no jump. That's why it'd be hard for Scrub to get out of. I mean, never mind. Well, now it's neutral. No, he's just letting him fall to the ground. That's happened like the two kind times in a row. But he has to like up tilt or shine there. Because letting Sheik fall to the ground, you didn't have to guess on the, the tech roll. And if you mess up, it just for reset. Down smash? Down smash too. I just hit some Tom's attack. It looked like he, uh, yes, he DI'd up, but I could be, I could have just missed it. Something I want to see Scrub try is that if he does if he does miss tech, I want to see him because uh, just Jason is doing like up tilt board jab a lot. I want to see him trying to STI out of it because it's not it's not too hard as Falco or like with Fox it's very difficult. Ah, uh, he went. Hmm. He went Yoshi's. I don't know. I don't really like the pick personally, but I think Falco does very well. And with a, uh, because he takes up so much space with all of his very uh, high priority moves. But yeah, Scrub takes the first stock, and then almost killed himself, but functionally <laughs> functionally killed himself. Oh, he didn't get tipper, but it doesn't matter. So he functionally killed himself with the uh, air dodge. He's trying to do running shine, which is weird. It's not very good with Falco because it's too slow. Like, it's good too if you have a good, like, a super hard read, but I don't know. Versus Sheik, it's kind of just it seems risky. Unless you're holding down the whole time, which then, like, you know, it will be dash check or whatever, but. Oh my god, Gravel Edge, nice. Where is this? This is in New Rochelle, New York. Yeah, let's go. Let's go TN. Tell him. But it's in New Rochelle, New York. It's uh, pretty close to the city. Ah, uh, that sucks. I don't know if he got stuck in his- Oh! Oh. That looks like he was gonna kill. I've never- I don't know. That would've been cool. <laughs> nice. It's- I don't know. I think this is like a really risky pick for Sheep. Don't say upstate. New Rochelle's not upstate. Oh no. Yeah, he, he, he went for the edge cancel the last time he recovered beside me. So I think maybe Jason was ready for it. Yeah, Ron, his Falco is. It moves. It has some. It has some option choices that I disagree with. But it moves a lot. So it's cool. Nice. Oh, not nice. No! That's like the panic fall down with. No, just what are you doing? <laughs> these options, these panic options are gonna lose in the game, I think. No, he didn't. He didn't let Dash. That's death. Unless Jason messes up. Oh, he messed up. Oh, what the frick? Why did he do that? <laughs> nice. Oh, no. I think he should up through, but that's not death. Not yet. Yeah, that sucks. Sometimes you need to do it for the fans. That is wrong. The fans are dumb and don't deserve anything cool at the local level. No one at the local level is good enough to do cool things. It's just a fact. The people are going to see win today, and then there's four people who can win. One of them is a box player. One of them is a tech-chasing Sheik. 
One of them is a Peach Donkey Comane. And one of them is a cool Falco. So you have like a 1 in 4 chance of something cool happening. He did the runoff double jump on Double Laser, which killed him again. Your stuff is literally not cool. It's, like, you can't say something you do constantly is cool. Because it just gets boring. All you do is up, soft up air combos. Like, woo! I've seen them a trillion times before. Down throw, horrible option. Not to roast him, but just up throw. It's like, the only time you should down throw is when you're on a platform. Because then you can react to every option with F smash. Except for no tech get up attack. But you have to shield. Oh no. Yeah, once once Sheik's up being, that sucks. He could've, I, I wonder if he tried, he probably tried to air dodge horizontally, but it was too low to do that. But yeah, once Sheik's off the stage, once you're up B, it's kind of just like, you gotta let her, you gotta let her rock. You can't do anything about that. Oh no. Air dodge, turn around, down smash is a classic. That if you try to punish it, off the ledge as Falco, without ledge dashing, and without being invincible off the ledge dash, you will die. Which is exactly what happened there. Yep, that's death. Just needs a grab ledge. That was a rough last game, but... I don't know, I, uh, now it looks like Toucan is coming up to play against... Or no? Because now he's walking to the TO. Peacecraft versus Apollo. Oh boy. You wanna... So Peacecraft, Swift Base versus Apollo. Uh, Falcon versus Marth slash Falcon slash Fox. I don't know who's gonna... He normally just chooses the character depending on the matchup, I feel like. Uh, I don't know who's gonna win. I mean, Swift is obviously the favorite, but who knows? Oh, yo, Rick, are you, Rick, are you still here? I gotta ask you something very important. Earth to Rick. Oh, yeah, okay. Did you watch, <laughs> did you watch Swift Base versus, uh, versus Fish It? He missed some DK Marth action. He lost game two to the Kong. He lost game two to the Kong. Then he switched to Falcon. Won game three. Then lost game four and five. Like he lost, oh no, no. I think he lost game three to the Peach on FOD. You are not the Kong Slayer. You're not allowed to say you're the Kong Slayer if you can ever, ever, ever have complained about Donkey Kong in your life. I'm the Kong Slayer. <laughs> Don't say you've never lost or never complained about Donkey. I can go back in the logs. Is this game one or hand or? Oh, game one. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that should be dead. One loss, no complain. Are you sure? Are you sure there was no complaint? Cause I know, I know other Marths have complained. I channel inner PPMD. Oh, you did dismantle it? That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I don't like seeing people lose the Donkey Kong. It makes me sad. Unless it, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think there's a single match of that. It's kind of if you lose to DK, it's like, yeah, I mean, respectable. You just get better player to gimmicked by Donkey Kong. Hey, I haven't really looked at the match until right now, but it's currently 2-0. Or the uh, four socks of two. Swift base. And like 0%. No up throw? I'm surprised. 
Oh, that I love. I love that when the fair goes underneath the, the ledge like that. It looks so sick. It's gonna be again. Hey, that, that was a good recovery, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean, one for the clip. I might die for it, but I think it was worth it. Oh, he's only. At, I thought he was. I was thinking he was the one with the 150. I don't know. A clip would have killed though. Probably. Hey, four stacks and one. Swift base winning. Uh. Yeah, not much to say about this game. It's kind of just getting combo to death. Oh, that fair was very crisp. Yep, that should be dead. Oh no. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Yeah, nice. Hey, well, that was game one. Four stock, unfortunately. Paul's not switching. I've never seen him play another character. Well, I've seen him play Falco, but he should not switch, is what I'm saying. Uh, he's probably going to go to a long stage. Probably FD. Maybe Pokemon. Dreamland? I, oh, no. That's completely fine. Too. Oh, he's just, he, he was looking for a jump read, but it didn't happen. I don't know how good that is versus Falcon. Hey Rick, can you tell me how good that is versus Falcon? Hey, Swift Beach is fast felt and didn't be. How good is Uppy on no tech against Falcon? Is it good enough to work? Because he was at like 100% and didn't go anywhere. Just grab ledge. Or, or not. He didn't have to. But just to be safe, I, I would have. You just wave dash forward and react to anything? What was that? That didn't answer. That didn't answer my question. <laughs> that didn't answer my question at all. <laughs> Saying is up B a good option? Is. Wait. So. He no teched? And got upbeat at the middle of the stage on Dreamland. And then didn't die. So is it good versus Falcon or is it just the stage? I mean, is it bad versus Falcon or is it just the stage? If you're gonna read Tekken Place or No Tech, just. Maybe it's good. Oh no, you're not the one who upbeats. That's, that's Wesley. Sorry, I apologize. All, all you Marth players look alike to me. I wonder why he did that like dash back bear thing. Maybe the knee wasn't possible. Wow. That stomp was like max range. If only Marth had a ledge dash, it wouldn't have worked. Up air? Nice. Oh, he didn't fast fall. I want to see some side bees from Apollo to beat out these short hop weights. Or like short hop into like late aerial or whatever. Because the spite side B can be considered like a broken move. I mean, a, a newbie move. It's broken for Smart. I will, I will concede on that. Cover your ears, Rick. You didn't hear that. They probably gonna go. That's fine. I actually don't know where Martha would go in general. I don't know. Because he also likes the space, but maybe these. Oh, he floated into it or drifted into it. Nice. 
Yeah, after, oh, I was gonna say after that four-star game one, Paul's looking crisp, he's looking nice. But then he died, as I was saying that. So nice, that was sick. I mean, I guess he didn't have to dash through, but it looked cool. Do 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 do. That smash, yeah. That was a really good get-up attack. He like just waited for uh, Mars to pop up. He didn't have to do a flake of full hop, but he did, so it worked. Damn, that's a rough life for Mars. Uh, not for Mars. Rough life for Falcon. It's not off stage at, like any percent. It's impossible to get back. Far throw down to him? Yep. Oh, okay, that was good. Oh, that crowd cancel was nuts. Like, crowd cancel instant grab. That was sick. <laughs> I mean, I get what Apollo's going for. But I mean, after the first two stomps, I feel like it's not going to happen. Unless you're getting. I don't know. Yeah, nice. Up air. Or up. Not up air, up B. Let me take a sip of my power rate real quick. Nah, that was more than a sippy. Yep, night. Uh, Apollo FD Pokemon. Probably FD. I've been wrong every game so far. <laughs> what the frick? I haven't gotten a single stage right. Oh my god, the first side B gets F smashed. That sucks. Because now he's going to be probably a little disheartened to do it, even though I don't think he was reading the side B. Dang, you need to learn your matchups. Don't say that. Don't say that to me. I know every matchup I need to know. Oh! That was kind of sick. I don't know, if I was Falcon, I would have gotten it. I don't know, why do you want platforms? I, I guess you want them for recovery. I don't know. That's death, yeah. I think you should have just dipped lower, gone for like the reverse up B. I don't think he's done that yet, though. This set. I think it. Well, it might not go around Mars down tilt, but. Oh no! He went for a, a wavelength grab, probably, but it wouldn't have worked, because I think he's. If I remember correctly, he shield dropped. And he just throwing out moves, full hops, double jumps, like they're going out of style. Yep. I have two of two Saibis have been punished. Oh, okay, yeah. Ooh, that Nair F was... That was really cool. Did he just kill himself? No, he didn't. Okay. I couldn't see because of the camera on the setup was in my way. You yeah, know, that was... that was. Oh. Nair F tilt. That was pretty sick. Mar Falcon Nair legit broken, in my opinion. But Falcon won't tell you that. I'm surprised he didn't just grab. Because that was like the slowest option you could have done. You can just DI at. Wait, wait, which one are you talking about? The. <laughs> the Nair F tilt? I hope <laughs> that's like impossible to get out of. Oh, you just mean Nair in general? I mean, you can, but. If you're at a percent where you get knocked down, 
You just get tech chased. They just land and tech chase you on reaction because the fastest freaking character in the world. That. I don't know, that was a little ambitious. He died for it, damn. Can you stop foreheading me, please? I'll throw some emos your way if you keep doing it. Ah! Don't do that. <laughs> Don't say he misclicked. Hey, game five. Yeah, he's just in the box. Like there's been some there's been some points where it's like I he kind of messed up because it seems like it'd be hard to do on the box, but he's also gotten some insane DI and SDI because of the box it seems. This is gonna be a rough game I think. Oh, <laughs> that was max length side B into knee into death. Oh my god! Oh, he killed himself. Never mind. That's almost cool. Epic. Yo, <laughs> you're supporting our boy. Is that some? Is that a Twitch Prime sub? Oh damn. Oh. oh. <laughs> the pivot grab ledge. That was sick. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a wiener. My Prime sub goes to like a very popular streamer. I don't support my fellow, my fellow friends. I don't give them my two dollars and fifty cents. That's smash, yeah. Yeah, I, I, re I read that. Going to ledge two. Oh, yeah. I wonder why he jabs. So when was that? Was never gonna knock down. My last prime went to GDQ. Uh, no comment on that. I have no comment on GDQ. <laughs> I don't know, yo, every year you have to give your your prime to uh, Evo because then you get the Evo emotes for the entire year. What don't I like? Uh, I don't know. I hate I hate them reading donations, <laughs> which I guess is like the point of the event. Half, but it's like I want to hear I want to hear the commentators talk about their game. Like they're playing these weird ass games, and they can't talk about them half the time. Yeah, but I'm telling them, I'm telling terrible puns to my friends, not hundreds of thousands of people, and I don't think mine are funny. They probably think theirs are funny. Oh no, that air dodge is gonna. Oh sh. Oh jeez. Oh oh no! Oh my god! Damn. I thought he wasn't gonna grab ledge, but then it didn't matter because Randall was there. Oh no, it actually, no, he didn't sweet spot, right? Yeah. Didn't matter, he didn't have to grab Lich because he didn't sweet spot. That was lucky. That was nice. Hey, I'm gonna go play. Wish me luck. I hope I don't lose. That would suck.
Just chasing Apollo. Apollo beat us. That's okay. Uh, Apollo beat Swift Face again here. Just chasing beat. What's his face? Uh, Scrub. Yeah. And then, uh, I think this will be a good match. I think they played in winners. Game three, Apollo lost. So, so I think it'll be close. Deathly Bananas? Hello, how you doing? Who are you? That was so sick! Holy crap. That was like actually genius. Because it was like the perfect height to where he would still grab ledge, but it wasn't too high to where Jason would be able to cover it. Like after the lag. I'm doing great, Deathly Bananas. Thanks for asking. I'm currently in Grands, which is cool. I dodged Swift Base, fortunately. Now he's out of the bracket, so I don't have to deal with him. Ah, oh, that sucks. Uh, yeah, that this, the percent for the stomp was probably too high there. Here's just my friend near back here. That sucks. I mean, I think Jason would have got the ledge anyway, but this still sucks. Didn't mess up. Yeah, that should be death. I don't think Jason's gonna be able to make it back from that. Oh, I uh, sorry, not Jason. I don't think Jason's gonna be able to mess it up and let Apollo get back from that. Yeah, it's death.
Hey, Dreamland. Uh, you know, Apollo's been going here every set. It's a good stage. You just get space. And you want to be able to like weave in and out between uh, Sheik's broken tilt, so it makes sense. Perfect sense. Me! No DI. He's either trying to. I think he's trying to Omsa Tech it, because he might be able to live if he DI'd it. But he didn't go low enough for that. Like, even close to low enough for Omsa Tech. Wow, they get up attack hit. I'm surprised I hit just Jason, because he seems to be pretty on point with reacting to the get up attacks. And Falcons is just so freaking slow. If you're on, like, the way it was positioned. Classic, <laughs> classic Sheik stock. Kind of just like hit him a couple times, straight hits into offstage kill with edge guard. I, he just missed a confirm. Oh my lord! Okay, he's lucky Jason messed up too. I think. I don't think he meant to ledge hop. That was a good run through. I love seeing run through from Falcon and Mark. It looks so stylish. Yep. See? Well, there, Jason did not turn around. Where if I think if he turned around down smash first, it would have traded. And, like, uh, would have sent a Paul off stage. But, he didn't turn around. Oh, my lord. <laughs> See, just like one hit. He's dead. Or not. He did really well to. DI away on the F tilt because a lot of people, including myself, don't DI away on the F tilt when they're recovering because you're just holding in to try and drift in. But uh, he held away. He lived. I don't know if he got any percent, but you know, maybe it's a moral thing, morale thing. Oh my lord, no jump. And he's freaking dead. Jesus Christ. He jumped into the down smash, lost his jump. Went off stage and died at zero, essentially. So I like God. She she gets so stupid. <laughs> he's going to Dreamland again. That's fair. Um I don't know, I'm surprised he's not trying to flatter stage. I would think Pokemon would be good too, cause uh like, if he wants platforms at all, it still has some platforms, but it's long, and she can't get to the top platform at all. Nice. Yeah, the episode that started that was a DI mix-up, because he walked past him. Probably, you know, Paolo probably thought he was going to get down smashed, held in, got F-Tilt fair. His edge card. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was almost a, a cool, cool Falcon thing. Two, 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 two. 
Yeah, he just clipped the jump up again with down smash. He's dead. So the last game ended too. And now three stocks to one, looking dire. Can't basically impossible to make it to make this comeback in my opinion. You had the zero that shoot twice, or hope that Jason kills himself. Hey, it's no jump. Oh, yeah, no, it's no jump. Hey, that's one. Just two more. Needs to not get hit by any move. Oh, there it is. That's death. All you see is edge guard. Hey, yeah, ended with a reverse fair. That's good. Hey, so now it's Fish it versus Jason. Fish it. I'm assuming I'm gonna go DK. Cause I mean they're both terrible matchups, like Sheik Peach and Sheik DK. But I don't know. He's probably more confident in his uh his DK. Really? I'm surprised. <laughs> Who the freak plays with Rumble? What the heck? Okay. So, in the past, Jason has had issues with floaties. So I wonder if that's why Fish, I wonder if Fish knows that. Or if he's just feeling more confident as Peach against Sheik right now. Oh, that dash attack was a odd choice off of down throw. I wonder if it was an accident. Oh, what the frick? Damn. Damn. Oh, that fair grab was super fast. I don't know, if this game doesn't go well with this Peach, I would completely expect a DK pick. Wow. I don't know why he fared. I feel like uh, going for like a, a hit that would send him to the left instead of right would have been better. He used his float to do that. I don't know. I guess you have to. So never mind. That makes sense. But I, I was just gonna say it's a little, it's a little risky. Cause what if you get hit off it, then you're without one of your source of resources. Damn. That's death. It's not death. That's death. <laughs> oh my gosh. Needle grab. Well, needle shield grab, but if it's just like whiffing a lot of moves and getting punished really hard for it. Um. I don't know. Down throw. I like up throw. But she. I don't know. Just to get him on a platform, especially because you can do like some float up air stuff or whatever. Forward throw. Yeah, this is looking kind of rough. This. I don't know. This matchup is. Everything you do is get stuffed by Sheik. Damn. I think he's gonna have to go DK. Damn, he got an air grab at that percent. <laughs> what the frick? Ah. I don't think that was on purpose. But it worked, so it's okay. Hey. I'm gonna say, if he doesn't go DK, he's making a mistake. Oh, I f wait, do I not follow them already? <laughs> hey everyone, follow Anchor Esports. They host sick tournaments every week for multiple games. He 
He's thinking. Thinking hard. Oh, he's going DK. He's. What the frick? Oh my god. <laughs> I really didn't expect that. Oh my god. I think it's just gonna try and chain grab him, but. I don't know. This was a wacky pick. Hey, good luck getting home. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I'll have fun. <laughs> Not bad. Word. <laughs> yeah. That's sick. It's a it's a 50 minute drive for me. It's a 45 50 minute drive. Yeah. Yeah. What? I dude, I fucking better. <laughs> I better. <laughs> I'd be I'd be a little sad if I didn't. I right, sure. I right, see it. My boy Kata like, leaving the building has to make a trek back to the city. Just chasing currently winning this chic ditto. Down, down, air, down air just barely hit Jason there. But fish it, you know, probably gonna die. Yeah, that sucks. I think if he waited like a little bit longer, he wouldn't be able to make it back. I don't, dude. I don't know why he went cheek. That's a that was like a very big gamble. Because now he's going to be down, you know, assuming he loses. Which, it's possible he doesn't, but if he loses, he's going to be down 2-0. Hey, well, two stock. She didn't work out either. What's he gonna do? Dude, go DK. He might as well try it. The combos are great. DK and FD? Holy moly. You're just gonna up air Sheik to death. Unless the Sheik knows how to air dodge back to the ground. He's going back to Peach. FOD. Weird counter pick. That's ah, probably even. I don't know. I'm surprised he didn't go didn't go uh, DK though. Down to the up air. I love full cancel up air, it's so cool. <laughs> 
Ooh, I wonder if Fisher is saving the DK for an FD counter pick from Jason, if he does that. This happened, I, I don't know if it was last week or two weeks ago, but the last time I watched him when I was commentating, I was talking about it with, uh, I think, JPO. His edge guards, when he's on the ledge and gets onto the stage, he down smashes almost exclusively, which I really dislike. Because it'll send him back onto the stage. Unless they hold, damn, that sucks. They'll send him back on the stage unless they hold down. But like, <laughs> oh, just Jason with the taunt. That's silly. Oh, but, but yeah, unless he holds down, it's not gonna kill. You get like 15%. Woo. When you can just back air there. Oh, sorry, back air in there. Wow. <laughs> I have forward throw, but I feel like that, he could have done like Nair, because now. Just Jason's gonna get back, and this matchup isn't bad for. Z oh, okay, well. I was say, the matchup's not bad for Zelda. Kind of just space aerials. Hey, Yoshi's. Oh, yeah. I think this is gonna be rough. No, he didn't float. He's gonna die for it, I think. Up here? Yeah. Yeah, he missed his float. So he fell way too low. That sucks. Man, I'm close to the chat. <laughs> no one's freaking talking. Uh, Jason going for the chain. Probably some some cheese, because he gets put away immediately. If you just fall off the ledge, like Randall. Nice. It's fairly difficult to shield poke. Sheik shield, but he was at a good height for it, so. Oh, yeah, no. Down tilt's super nice in this matchup because it reels your hurtbox back, so it'll dodge grabs if they try to, like, perfectly space him and not overshoot, which normally versus Peach you want to do. Oh, we take those. Classic commentary phrase. He didn't even show remorse. Most people show remorse, but in their head they're like, hell yeah, let's go. But. No remorse. Fish it took that. Oh my <laughs> Fuck Sheik. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. That was so stupid. And then Fish didn't really DI the fair, so he couldn't recover. Uh, but yeah, Uppy sends him too far down. She will dodge most grabs with that, actually. I think like the only ones she doesn't dodge are the spaces. And puff. Puff grab. Not. See, why would you do that? Just in there. Hey. Jason messed up the recovery, but again, he could just in there. If he if you're if the down smash is gonna hit. Why not just do an air? Safe on shield. Down smash isn't safe on shield. Sends the right direction, where down smash does not send the right direction. Nice. There, I would have down smashed, but I, <laughs> I think it would have lost. But also, my peach is fraudulent. Oh, oh no, that sucks. Yeah, that up air was a little weird. I don't know. I get versus spaces doing an up air like that, because you'll be able to combo off of it almost like, like all the time. But uh, I don't know. Against Pe Cheek, I would just send him off. Nice. That was good. That smash was cool. That's. Nice little game five. Fish it. Maybe gonna do the reverse 3 0. Just Jason. Classic. 
He did this at Omega like two and a half years ago. It was about 100 degrees in the venue inside of a garage. He's done it before. He's done it before, and nothing's happened. But I, it, it is technically, but he's done it on multiple different streams before, and nothing's happened. Yeah. But it's up to you, obviously. <laughs> Wow, he just mashed they had a hit stun. Hey, so he bared. I would again. Different choice than I would have chose. But Hey, he's up three socks of two. Oh no. That sucks. But it was a good snipe from Jason, though. Wait, you can... Oh my god, what a combo. I didn't know you could up throw dash attack. Especially not with the quote-unquote port priority. Like the port 4, like, extra frame or whatever. Nice. No jump. Wait, I... I yeah, I didn't know up throw dash attack was a true combo. It's true. Oh, shit. Nice. That was a good down smash. Hey, if he can close, yeah, dude, this is such a close set. I mean, full bias, I want Fisher to win, but. Oh! Dude, that down tilt, down smash was so smart. No jump either? Damn. Oh, fuck. He's gonna go side plat. Or not. <laughs> nice, forward throw. Is that dead? No way. Nice. Nice, that was sick. That was good. Finals. Wish me luck. I won't be back. So, see you guys next week.
Oh, oh. 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 Oh.